Hi again guys, it's me, Magia Mare, and today I wanted to talk with you what is the best bag for crutches. In this video today I'm going to be covering the topics of what do you need from a bag? What is the best bag? Pros and cons of the bags what I'm looking for specifically in this bag, where to get said bag, and where to avoid getting the bag. Okay, so what do we need from a bag? What does any person need from a bag? You need space. You need to have easy access, whether it be day-to-day -day life or whether you are on crutches or have a stick. You need to have easy access so you can pay for things, so you can get your purse, your phone, you know, the easy, quick access that people who don't use crutches have with any sort of bag people with crutches don't so we all need the easy access and not all bags for people on crutches can give that we need quick release if for example if it gets stuck if it gets caught if we have to do we have to go into a car really quickly or whatever it is we need quick release so that everything can still move as smoothly as we need it to be. It needs to be secure on me. I need to be able to feel it at all times, know that it's safe on me, know that whatever it is, it can, it's not going to be, it's gonna be secure. It needs to be good quality. I'm not one of these people that likes to buy cheap and nasty. Cheap and nasty to me is, Oh, no one likes cheap and nasty to be honest. I mean cheap things, yes, I can get behind because not everyone can afford lots of different expensive items. But there's cheap and nasty and I don't I don't think anyone wants to get, buy a bag and it to immediately fall to pieces after the first use. So it needs to be good quality. It needs to be comfortable and it needs to have good value. I mean <clears throat> good value for money. You don't want to spend I don't know, let's say fifty quid. 50 pounds on a bag that is literally going to fall to pieces the minute it, the minute you use it. You don't want that. No one wants that. And comfort because, well, it needs to be comfortable otherwise you're not going to use it. So, what is the best bag? I think, personally to me, and to probably to most people, it's the bum bag. I'm personally not a big fan of the bum bag. I don't like it because I don't like the look on it. It doesn't make it doesn't match my body type. I don't feel it matches me. It is very unflattering on me, but it's way more functional than any bag I've ever used. And it works. So at that point if it is unflattering on me, I don't really care what other people think. It works. It's useful for me. It helps me massively so yeah just putting that out there so first up here is my leather bum bag i know it is leather so most people are probably going to dislike this because well it's leather i'm not a big fan of leather either but it was it looks nice it was functional at the time the pros of this bum bag is that it's compact, so it doesn't stick out as much on your body. I have them round my waist, I wear all bum bags round my waist because it's more comfortable for me, it doesn't slip off my shoulder, because I know some people wear them round the shoulder, I don't do that, it's personal preference where you prefer it, I personally prefer it around my waist and that's where I wear it. It's secure, so it being secure is that Everyone's going to be able to feel you try and pop the popper off or unzip the zip. It's, everything's tightly compact and, well, it works. So, another thing is that it's quick release. It's got these poppers here that basically let you undo it or do it back up. Which is perfect for when you're in the car and you just need to get it off and all you have to do is unpop it and it slips out. It was one of my favourite features when I, when I wore it all the time. Now personally I think that this this bum bag here is is a, is a nice looking bum bag other than the downside that it's leather but it's a nice looking bum bag. It's also well made and is expensive this one because it's because of it being leather it's well an expensive item 
Um, I think I got this for about 20 quid when I went to TK Maxx because I love TK Maxx and yeah it's, it's, it's well made, it's a good quality. It hasn't frayed, I've had this for about, ooh, had this one for about eight months now. Yeah, it hasn't, in fact it's probably longer than that because I had this one before, oh, I don't know how long I've had it, but yeah, it's well made, you can feel that it's good quality, it's got a good quality felt and the zips are very high quality. Um, yeah, as I said, it was expensive. Now cons of the bum bag. Now there are only two really, is that it's too small. I can't fit my phone. I can just about fit my phone in my purse and my keys in it. I can't fit my blue badge or my AirPods or whatever I want else to put in it. I can't fit them in and it's very, very frustrating. So yeah, it's too small and it's made of leather. There's not really a bigger downside than that. It's made of leather and I know a lot of people don't agree with leather. There are a lot of people out there that don't. I'm not vegan. I'm not even vegetarian. I do eat meat so it's not too much of a big issue to me but I know to a lot of people it is. Um, yeah, it's leather. That's another downside. Now, Pros and cons to my all-time favourite bag, the Kipling one. Now, I absolutely love this one. This one I use all the time. It's got all the different pockets. It's a lot bigger, as you can see from my other bag, but it's not great. It's still not perfect because unfortunately it's still a bum bag and I, as you know, I don't like them. The pros of this bag is that it's there's lots of space in it, so I can fit everything that I need to fit in it, apart from my blue badge, unfortunately. That's very disappointing, but I can fit everything else in it, which is, which is great. Um, it looks okay. I mean, it's black, it's got glittery lines in it, which is nice. The material feels nice. It's got a little monkey. can't remember the name of the little monkey. Davina little monkey Davina which is kind of cute um, yeah I can even fit plastic carrier bags in here in this little pocket here so it's big it's got it's very secure it's you, everyone can feel someone else opening a zip so no one's gonna pinch anything from my bag which is perfect which is exactly what I need it's well made so you can feel that it's good quality it's Kipling so it will most likely be very well made um, downside is to this is that it's expensive. They are. They're, all the cons are pretty much is that it's expensive and it's not easy access. Not as easy access as this one. This one was just literally a popper. Whereas this one is zips. It's not as easy access as my other one. But it's still great and I still use it all the time. It's not leather, which is also a bonus. Um, yeah. So what things should you look for in a bum bag? One definite thing that anyone is going to need in a bum bag is quick release. You need it to be quick release. Have either a clip, like this one, or poppers, as you saw on my last bum bag. You need quick release. Whatever situation and you need to get yourself out of it quickly, safely, easily, you need it to be quick release. You need it to be accessible to be able to quick release and get out of there. For whatever reason, whether it be just getting in a car or what, whatever. If it gets caught on something, you need to be able to quickly get out of it. So, another thing you need for a bum bag is you need to be able to move around. I use two crutches. I can use one. I can, I definitely can use one crutch. But you need to use but if you're using two so I use it for long distance walking I use two or I use it for getting up and down the stairs I need to be able to not worry about it falling off my shoulders like a rucksack would or slipping down my waist or whatever it would do it needs to be able to be secure and easy to move around in 
What I like about the bum bag is the fact that you don't have to hold it. It's, you don't even need to have any hands near it. It literally just sits on your waist and you can walk around. Another thing is for easy access. You need it to be able to spin around your waist or spin around your shoulder or wherever you've got it. You need to be able to access whatever's inside of it easily, but not so easily that someone can pinch it. There needs to be enough space. So you need to be able to put your keys, your phone, your wallet, your purse, whatever you have, you need to be able to fit it inside. Otherwise it just becomes a really useless bag if you can't fit anything in it and you can't use it. Another thing is, is that you need to not worry about damage. It needs to be so robust that you don't have to constantly worry about it getting damaged or broken or it, it can't be fragile basically. So where can you look for a bum bag? I got mine from, I got my leather one from TK Maxx which is an absolutely amazing store and I absolutely love it and I also got my Kipling one from a Ki Kipling store and I know a lot of department stores like John Lewis, M&S, Kipling, Nike and D-Day, G, no, Nike do them. Okay, where do you avoid looking? I personally would avoid anywhere that you can't actually see physically the bag. So I'd avoid shopping online or Amazon or places like that because you can't see it. You can't feel, you can't feel the quality of it like you can in the shop. You can't, you can't judge anything really with online because you are never really sure if it's the right description or it doesn't even have a description some of the time so I'd avoid every online shopping for a bum bag. I would also say don't buy cheap I mean if you can't afford it fair enough but don't buy cheap nasty that's why I say don't shop online because you can feel if something's cheap and nasty or yeah don't buy online. So lastly it's pretty self-explanatory how do you use bum bags with crutches? Now, I, as I said, have I use it around my waist. So I don't know, some people might find it more comfy to have it around the shoulder, I don't. But basically I have it secure around the waist. I have always the buckle near to me, near the front, so I can easily jump out of it if I need to. And I have it behind, sat on my back because it gets out, it's out the way, it's not going to affect me in any kind of way, it's not going to be in the way, it's not going to be annoying me basically. And I need, I have it so I can easily spin it around when I need to access things. So it's not, so it's still a quick access even if, whatever bum bag I'm using. And so that concludes my video, that is everything I feel a bum bag is good and bad for, and I'll see you next time!